Let's play. What can I do? It's a steam YouTube or tax show from Shorts. So Shorts is the shortest side of YouTube. That's how YouTube itself describes Shorts. So Shorts are basically like TikTok videos or Instagram reels. They are very short videos. You do not have a lot of info in them, like a lot of video, but you can basically just show if you don't have like a lot of resources or you do not want to make long videos like a content creator or something like that you can use shorts to show your process just like tiktok allows you to do it and it can it a shorts can make each channel go viral and blow up on youtube so before i don't think there were shorts and like shorts like many channels grew shorts like i know a lot of channels like Katy finney and recently i saw some in just shorts or something like that and like there are also like bigger YouTubers like Super Diesel or Super Diesel has a like a channel just just for shorts. And uh, Timmy Dancer Art also does shorts. Kobo's Art, the person who inspired me to do this video. And I don't I'm not remembering all of them. I think Jazza also did one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know if there is a lot of art hacks, but when I searched, I did not get a lot. It's quite limited, I think. But with that explanation, let's just go and see what kind of art hacks we can get and if we have art hacks that can help us or they are bad or they are fails or you know like that so let's just guys i've got my screen here and i'm gonna be looking at it like down so my eyes are gonna be here and here you can see that we have quote arts videos and you have all the hacks let's go and see one that can be interesting i still wonder that where there was like clouds and like you can push technique or something like that oh classic art which art video oh look at this one watercolor cloud painting how pack previously watched so let's test out I want to share a quick cloud painting tip with you inspired by this moment I had a couple of weeks ago <laughs> You paint your sky wet and wet, and, and when it's at the buckling stage or half dry, drop in half drops of clear water where you want clouds to form, and the paint will push out and create perfect soft little bubbles of cloudy goodness. I call this my push technique. Be sure to subscribe because I've got more rainbow hacks coming soon. All right, so did you see that? Did you see that? Let's test that out, shall we? Hello guys, so I have all of my supplies here and let's see the... what kind of cloud should we make, huh? Let's search on Pinterest. So I will start the screen recording and let's search for let's search for moody or uh, bluish simple sky. We can make a really beautiful miniature painting. Okay, let's remove the moody, simple sky. Ooh. No, not this. Simple sky. Mm, very beautiful here. Wallpaper. always like this when you I really need something it just disappear magically but when you don't need it it like comes running to you this is how it is basically well I want to get a really good picture from real life not a painting I don't want to see from a painting because I want one from real life what is this? Oh, look at this one. It looks very dreamy, dreamy, dreamy. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at this one. Very, like, natural and simple. Did you see that look? I think that's what we're gonna like. Alright. So, screen code done. Let's get to work. I'm gonna be using Cobalt Blue. 
move first i need to with my paper with water and yeah we are good to go gosh this is so interesting i really like wanted to try that out but i didn't really use a big piece of paper i'm still using a good piece of paper a can some paper because i was making a project and there were bits and pieces left and we had to use a free so when i cut it it wasn't a free it was a larger so i thought why not cut it and use it for miniature painting let's use like not use it like make good use of it not just like use not just let this be wasted okay i think i put too much Yeah, mixing it in the cap really good huh so i'm just making a variegated wash no just a clean wash nothing serious here nothing big nothing too serious i think somebody even starting watercolors can do this so it's quite simple that's the kind of stroke i'm making right now if you can get an idea of it so i'm just wetting, wetting it more making it um like dissolving there and so it's basically a clean wash that i uh, that i've done here and it's looking like this very simple as i told you and let's see what it does then i'm gonna be pressing the water brush pan to just oh no i am so like terrified right now because all the water is sinking to the bottom and i'm using a bit of paper to just like Move it and fry it. So, wait a minute. I don't understand what to do because, oh my gosh, what look what did I do? My goodness. I'm literally making a mess. That's the thing with me when I'm trying all tasks. I just like can't do it because let me pause the video. So I grab my table, but did it work? No. According to me, it didn't work. So fail. Fail. literally a big fail so next let's see if we have some shorts on slippery diesel channel so start screen recording and she has the slippery diesel shorts here mm. how to draw an eye how to draw water droplets why being an artist is weird We have a lot of variety here. Um, she has one. Oh, how to grow bubbles? So this is the one that she got a lot of views on it. How to draw a tree? I forgot to just clean everything I used up. Oh my god, my brush.
how to draw a tree. How to draw water. So I don't think most people understand how crazy easy it is to draw realistic water droplets. First, trace a circle. It's okay if it looks bad. Then with the charcoal pencil, draw a crescent moon on the inside and the outside. And the inside again, but this time make it white. Get a Q-tip and blend it all out. Really get in there. Don't think about it, just do it. Clean your edges, they're gonna need it. Get some white paint, make an exclamation mark, and boom. To be honest, I really don't know what to do with this. You know, you don't have a lot of variety. Let's see if I be craft have some. Five minute crafts. My god. Five minute crafts. The painting is still crappy. You hey, but like it it does have this white spots there. But still it doesn't like look like clouds though. Look. It's not resembling my like clouds, see. Yeah. I am literally 12 minutes in the video and I only tried one other. That is hilarious. Wait. Let's see if we have Shomu. Being an artist is such a weird concept. It's like with this wooden colored wax stick and with this compressed dead tree, I guess I'll make this. I am like astonished because I don't really know what to do. So I don't think people realize how easy it is to draw a realistic looking eye. First draw an oval that's kind of pointed at the edges. Then draw a circle in the oval. Then draw another circle in the circle. And another circle on top of that circle. Fill in the pupil completely black. Make a line a little bit higher than halfway through the eyeball. Lightly color it in. Get a Q-tip and blend it out. I know this part seems kind of hard, but you can do it. Bestie, I believe in you. If you're feeling a little extra today, get a white colored pencil. Fill in the third circle. A little bit on the bottom. A little on the sides. And boom, just like that, a realistic looking eyeball. Good luck, happy drawing, and follow for more. Really regretting doing this video now. Like, to be honest, I don't really know why I'm doing this. Why I am doing this video right away? Please don't click off. Oh my god, I just don't know. Man. You know what? I'm just going to close the video. Bye everybody.